Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be walking you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up Netflix on your Roku streaming player or your Roku TV. Relatively straightforward, but a number of steps that we're going to have to walk through here. So starting off on the homepage of Roku, go down to where it says streaming channels and then click OK on your Roku remote and then go down to where it says search channels and start typing in Netflix. It should show up pretty much as soon as you type in an N because it's one of the most popular applications. So then go over to the side there and click OK on your remote where it says Netflix and then click add a channel. So then it's going to go through the process here of downloading and installing the Netflix application. And as soon as it's done doing that, it will put a Netflix application tile on your Roku homepage and it will show up towards the bottom of the page. I'll show you how you can move it up towards the top as we move in to the next step. So now it says the channel has been added at the end of our home screen. So we're going to click OK and you can go to Netflix right from this page, but we're going to go back to the home page here. So click the little home button on your Roku remote and then go over and start scrolling down. You should find that Netflix tile right at the bottom. And if you want to move it on your Roku remote, click the options button, which is that little button that kind of looks like an asterisk or a star. And when you do that, it's going to open up your different options, go and click move channel. And of course, you're going to want to make sure that that little highlighted box is around the Netflix application when you open up that options screen. So then we're going to move the Netflix app right to the top of the list here and then click OK on the Roku remote to set it in that spot. So now we have our Netflix app on our Roku and it's right there at the top. So the next thing we're going to do is launch it by clicking the OK button again on our Roku remote. In the Netflix app, this is the first time it's initially launching on my Roku player, so I'm going to have to sign in with my Netflix account. If you're interested in going through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to sign up to Netflix, I'll have a separate video on how to do that posted right at the top of the video description if you want to check that out. So then go over and click where it says sign in. And then enter in the email that you had set up your Netflix account with as well as the password. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And as long as you type in your email and password correctly, you log in and Netflix will launch your initial experience asking you to select which account that you're watching with Netflix. So if you're the primary person that had set up the account, you can go ahead and click on your tile. But if you're an additional person that's watching on this Netflix account, you can go over and click the little plus sign there to add an additional profile. I recommend having different profiles for different people that are watching on the same Netflix account because it will allow you to personalize that experience a bit better. So then you can just go ahead and click on the tile that has your name on it and it will take you right in to your Netflix experience. So that's how you go about setting up Netflix on the Roku player. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing and I'll catch you back here next time.